So, what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge Full In-Depth Review. Now, if you haven't been on this channel before, what we essentially do is we take the phones and we go through full in-depth every single thing you need to know about this in detail. Now this video is going to be quite long, but it will be customizable and the sections you can go to will be down below in the description area if you don't have time, I understand. But with that being said, let's get into this full review of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. Let's go. All right guys, so welcome to this full in-depth review. Let's begin with the hardware tour of the device. So on the front of the device, you're gonna find yourself a five inch 720 by 1280 or 1280 by 720 HD display. Now this display is a TFT panel. This is not a super AMOLED panel here on the front. Now you're gonna find yourself a Samsung logo right up here at the top that they get in the focus there. And uh, you're gonna find yourself these light sensors right here as well as a front megapixel. This is two megapixel front with a F2.2 stop here on the front. You are gonna have yourself right here a earpiece for calling. And if we go down to the bottom of this device, you're gonna find yourself the home button here and the back button and the multitasking switch key, which does not light up by the way. At the bottom of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge, we're gonna find ourselves the micro USB port for charging and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack as well as a mic port for talking on the phone. So kicking it around to the right side of the device, you're gonna see that it is aluminum. It's got a curvy look and feel here on that. And um, we do have a power button here as well as a speaker right here. So yes, that right there is a speaker. Let's get in the focus there. That is a speaker right there. And up at the top, it says Qualcomm 4G as well as another mic up there. And over here on the left side, you're gonna see your volume rocker switch right there, volume rocker switch. And on the back of this device, you're gonna find yourself the, um, I believe this is an eight megapixel camera here, and this shoots in at uh, 1080p full HD. Actually, no, this is a five megapixel camera, excuse me, and that shoots in at 20, 1080p, so not even an eight megapixel here. And we do have a flash right here. Now, down here on the, is it down or on the left? Okay, so right next to the volume rocker, you can go ahead and pop this back off of here of the Samsung, and you can see that it is, it fits on there nice and tight. A little bit modular looking, honestly, here for the hardware here of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. Now, you do have yourself here a 2600 milliamp hour battery here, and you're gonna find yourself a slot for micro SD expansion up to 256 gigabytes, as well as a slot for your nano SIM card right there. So let's go ahead and put this baby back on and um, yeah so that's pretty much the hardware what you're going to get in terms of the you know overall dimensions hardware screen and stuff like that now this is not a fingerprint scanner if you guys were wondering so let's talk about the internal specifications now now when talking about specifications on the samsung galaxy j3 emerge we're talking about a cortex um, A53 cores here. Now this is a Snapdragon 430 CPU. So Qualcomm announced this CPU late 2016 and this is more of a budget CPU so we can get the hands of uh, into more people on smartphones so they can get like cheaper phones with decent performance into the hands of more people here. Now 1.5 gigabytes of RAM will be available for the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So you're not talking quite up there with two gigabyte of RAM phones or three gigabyte of RAMs but but this phone is pretty well optimized in terms of the software so you don't really notice it too much but where you're going to notice it is in terms of the you know just opening up heavier games and stuff like that now for other specifications this does have wi-fi 802.11 a b g and n so no ac here and this does have wi-fi direct as well as a hot spot capaci uh, compatibility now you do have an accelerometer on here a gyro a proximity and a compass also this supports for html5 browsing and um, java there is no java here now in terms of the audio it does support MP4 H.264, MP3 WAV, EAC, and FLAC player, photo and video editor, and document viewers here for the you know Galaxy J3 Emerge. Now, that's pretty much all we need to know about the specifications. So yeah, it's not packing an incredible amount of specifications um, like in terms of performance, but it does pack quite enough to get the job done. So now let's talk about the screen sharpness and viewing and resolution of this device. 
So let's talk a little bit more about the screen on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So like I say, we're talking about a 1280 by 720 pixel display. This comes in at 294 pixels per inch. So you guys are gonna have no issues in terms of reading text. It looks just fine here on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge, but where you're gonna be a little bit upset probably might be in the fact that most Samsung devices in the past, what, like eight years now, have had AMOLED display. And essentially when you come to this device, you're like, what, this is not like Samsung. Um, if you're a Samsung fan, if you've never used a Samsung phone, you probably will not notice this. But in terms of its viewing angles, they're pretty strong. So just in terms of its viewing angles, it's IPS. So plenty of viewing angles here going on. You could put it on wide angles and you could still read the display pretty well. I don't know how many people are gonna be doing that. That's actually not in there. But I don't know how many people are actually gonna be doing that, like reading it on this weird angle. But it does come into play when you're like laying on your bed or something and the display is flat and you're kind of angling your head down and you're trying to read the display. But Luckily, Samsung's TouchWiz, or you could say Grace UI here, is, you know, pretty colorful, so it kind of makes up for the fact that there is no AMOLED here, but imagining this with AMOLED would have been much better, so it still looks pretty good. It's still pretty colorful. I'd say it's a little more colorful than some of the, the dollar displays that you get on, that you used to get on something like the original Moto G and stuff like that, but this display is definitely not incredibly impressive, and I don't think you're going to be impressed with the display i just think you're going to be like okay this is a standard display it's going to do just fine and that's my assessment of this display all right guys so let's talk about the software version of this device so if we go into settings here and we scroll down till we get to about device you can see this is android version 6.0.1 marshmallow which is pretty cool but i'm thinking you know this device was released in january 2017 and we have marshmallow like what's up with that samsung you're going to give us a later looking uh software than we even get on something like the s7 right now as well as the s7 edge with the grace ui here and you know you're not going to give us nougat that's kind of strange here but I'm not sure if this will be updated to nougat samsung usually they didn't announce this will be updated to nougat so i wouldn't i wouldn't be counting on getting nougat on this device 7.0 probably not likely here for the j3 emerge but i cannot say that's 100 percent true but samsung announced its list of the devices that it's updating to android nougat and this guy wasn't on there so anyway you know nougat's not really going to change the samsung experience so you still get plenty of software here this is the grace ui here and you're gonna get plenty going on here um, not very stock not very stock android ish but still it's going to give you a lot a lot of features here even though you're on marshmallow and marshmallow does include those and you still get the google assistant if you hold down here which allows you to set reminders timers alarms home you know search google right here set reminders okay google and all that cool stuff right there so now let's talk about the special samsung features we're going to go in depth and look at the software that is included here on the samsung side of things for the j3 emerge all right guys, so let's talk about the software here that is included from Samsung here with the J3 Emerge. Now, this section is gonna be pretty in-depth and probably the most in-depth section of this video. So let's take a look first at this top, you know, this thing up here, what I call the notification center up here. So you can see it's a little bit different than what you're gonna get on, you know, something like the prior software experience from Samsung. This is the more updated, modern look and feel of Grace. You can see you do have your Wi-Fi here, Bluetooth, and you can go ahead and change things right from the notification tray. You don't have to hop into the settings by pressing these down arrows here. Now over here, you're gonna have portrait mode as well as auto rotate. And I like this because it's very clean looking and it does work well, very efficient here in its use. So you have power saving modes here. Um, doesn't look like we have ultra power saving, but we're gonna have to see, but it does have mid here and max here. So it shows you how much you can get depending on the power saving mode you put on and airplane mode here. A flashlight here and you can level the flashlight brightness which is pretty cool haven't seen that on many and you can see behind me that the flashlight is raising in its brightness capacity so that's a pretty cool feature right there haven't seen that in many other devices so over here sync you can see right there and smart view if you have a samsung smart tv or something like that you can really work well with that secure folder here so secure folder is essentially a folder that's going to protect your data and uh, credit cards and stuff like that if you're someone 
someone who you know uses your smartphone for more um, personal things and you, you just want your data protected mess with the secure folder there do not disturb mode which is essential if you don't want to be distracted by everyone when you're sleeping so over here we do have outdoors mode that's gonna really crank up that nit on the brightness for when you go outdoors here now let's back out a little bit and let's show a little bit more of what you're gonna get in grace UX so if you look closely here let's get in the focus the icons on the Samsung are a little bit different here on the J3 Emerge. They do now have the ability to put rounded icons on the outside of the applications here. And you have the ability to turn that off as well. Now within the app drawer, everything is very clean. There's like no bloatware on here. All the apps you see installed are applications that I installed. You have the ability to quick search for apps here. So kind of like spotlight search for Apple here within the app drawer. And you can go ahead and edit these by however you want to edit them, move them around, stuff like that. You can sort them by alphabetical order or custom orders here. Now we do have the Google folder here, which is very clean. There is no, um, there's no colors. It's just translucent. You can see right through it. Over here, you have the ability to change that though with these, uh, the blue folders. So when we go to green here, you're gonna see this folder is gonna turn green here. So that just turned green. Now under Samsung, they include some applications here. So they include the email client, which I don't know if anyone's gonna use. Galaxy App Store, which is, you know, for Samsung only. And you're gonna have internet here, a Samsung internet browser, which works pretty well, much better than LG's internet browser that I've used in the past. And I think LG dropped their browser from their phones and just used like Chrome or something now. But we do have file system here. And Samsung, I think this is Knox, I'm not sure here. Let's see. Um, live support, no, this is Samsung Live support right here in secure folder, we talked about that. But other than that, you do get the updated messages icon here. A little bit, it's very similar to the prior one. It's just like they took their last skin and they just kind of put a fresh coat of paint on it here with Grace UX. Now, that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and change the screen grid size here as well from four by four to four by five to five by five. So nice stuff there. And if you hold down also, let's see how the widgets look. So if we go into widgets here, a very clean translucent widget menu system here. Now, if we go into wallpapers and themes, they include about four wallpapers, but they recommend you wallpapers and you have the Samsung theme store, which you can go ahead and apply anything to your heart's content to really customize the shit out of your Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So we did that. Now let's go into settings and take a look at the settings menu here. So let me zoom in just a little bit more here and talk about this. So you can see we do have connections here and you have Bluetooth, data usage, airplane mode, location, more connections, sound and vibrations where we're going to get all of our sounds and stuff like that. We're going to kind of speed through this. We have notifications where you can mess with your notifications, reminders, display, where you can change the font size. You have easy mode here, status bar, screen timeout, which I have set for a long time, so it doesn't time out during us here. The ability to change wallpapers again from there. Now our advanced features, we do have the quick launch camera, so you double tap the home button and you can go directly into the camera, which is nice there. Let's go back in the settings menu now. And you do have one-handed operation, which is gonna allow you to triple click the home button to give you a you know, smaller screen if you got smaller hands here for the Galaxy J3 Emerge. And that's a feature that you didn't see on like something like the Galaxy Grand Prime, or I don't even think the J3 Emerge of last year had that feature. So that's a new thing here for the J3 Emerge. Now you do have direct call, which is gonna allow you to just bring the phone to your face when someone's calling you to answer a call. So that's a smart feature there. Smart alert, easy mute, and send SOS messages. So direct share as well is available here. Now, under applications is just where you're gonna manage applications. You got your lock screen settings here where you can encrypt the SD card and much, much more there. Google settings, accessibility, um, pretty basic stuff here. General management here. You do have system updates where you're gonna get your updates. And um, you also do have about device section here. And going down, I didn't de enable developer options, which if you put on 0.5.5, you will make this device much faster. So that's pretty much the software and probably the most in-depth section of this video, the special features of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. That's pretty much what you're gonna expect full in detail on this software. Let's talk about the audio quality and the speakers now. Now guys, one of the most disappointing sections of this video is probably going to be that very small and actually very tinny sounding speaker here for the Galaxy J3 Emerge. I mean, just look at that thing. It's just tiny and you would think like, oh, that thing's tiny. It's not going to work well. And you would be right. It does not work very well. It's just, it just doesn't sound that good. And let's go into, let's go into YouTube and let's see how this baby performs. I'm going to go to one of my videos here. 
let me go into Nick Ackerman and you're gonna see Nick Ackerman right here subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we would love to have you around here would be appreciated let's check out my Samsung Galaxy J3 unboxing so you can see right here those ads skip on through here it's uber I think and uh, One good thing about this though is that it doesn't, it's not easy to cover this speaker, so it's a good speaker for not covering because I don't know how often you're going to be covering that. But it might sound decent here on my Zoom H1 microphone because it picks up pretty good uh, sound here no matter, like if, if things are close my mic can pick that up. But in person this uh, speaker was pretty tinny and I don't think you're going to like it. But down here on this, you know, the 3.5 millimeter headset jack where we're going to go ahead and put our headphones in, you have the ability to set equalizer settings and things like that, and it sounded just fine from the 3.5 mil. So if you're thinking about using the 3.5 mil headset jack, uh, using what headphones or Bluetooth headphones, you're going to be just fine here with your Samsung Galaxy J3. So that's the audio quality speakers. Let's talk about the everyday performance now. All right, guys, so talking about the everyday performance, if you watched my Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge versus iPhone 5S, you could have seen this, but the everyday performance for me and my experience has been great. Um, it's not a fast device in terms of it's super blazing fast, it's gonna impress you or nothing like that, but what will impress you is the optimization of this device. I think Samsung has really come a long way in terms of how well their optimization of even their budget devices is performing these days. Very reliable and I had no stutters or crashes. Now yes, granted I did have to wait a little bit longer for some things to open on this device versus something like, you know, a Samsung Galaxy S7 or something of that nature, but in the long run, like I think this device is going to serve you well if you're not expecting too much out of it. It was very, very smooth in most tasks that I have done on this device. So everyday performance is a goal. Multitasking is pretty good. Now, one area where you're going to suffer a little bit is if you like to hop in and out of apps super quick, don't expect it here. You're going to have reloads here on the multitasking. But if you just mess with a few apps here and there, you're going to be just fine here in terms of the everyday performance on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Merge. It's very smooth and you can see even there's no frame rate drop there on this very quick motion here. It looks very nice there. And I tried to swipe up like an iPhone, but no iPhone right here. And uh, it just rolls off your thumb here off the sides. Very nice design here in terms of this display. Now that oleophobic coating might wear down over time, but it just feels very buttery smooth. And like this smooth texture here going off the edges kind of just rolls off your thumb. So you're gonna really like that. Software everyday performance, I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10. I take two points off for the reloading of the multitasking and sometimes it can be a little bit slow, but this is a lot better than budget devices of the past. Now, let's talk about the everyday gaming performance. So I did load a couple of games up here on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge, and I did do a gaming performance test review of the Galaxy J3 Emerge, so you can go ahead and watch that. Card is gonna be up above here, or down below in the description area of this video. I'm just gonna give my assessment. Gaming was just fine. You could play most casual games, and um, like I say, this, you know, every time we're talking about a budget device, except for like those two $300 budget devices, this one performed well. And honestly, the games I play on a flagship device, I can play just fine here on the Galaxy J3 Emerge. To be totally honest with you guys, that's exactly my assessment here. Um, some people may not like these, you know, casual games. You might mess with the asphalt, the need for speed, and the more graphically intensive games. And you might see a stutter here and there on the J3 Emerge for those games. But I think it would even run those pretty solid. Just have a little bit of patience in the load times. But once you get in, I didn't find too much lag here or frame rate drops in most casual games that most people will probably play here on the Galaxy J3 Emerge. So yeah, let's talk about the camera quality now and the software of the Samsung. Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So the first thing that I noticed when I first went into the camera of this guy is this is a little bit different. You know, this camera software looks a little bit different than prior Samsung devices. We do have our settings here, which we can go in and take a look at the settings. So we can shoot in a picture size of five megapixels, which is very disappointing here in 2017. Five megapixels is not cutting it anymore. That is really crappy. Uh, 3.1 megapixels on the four by three. And to shoot in 16 by nine, which is what most people wanna shoot in 
um, if you're shooting videos, you're going to be shooting in at 3.7 meg of pixels, which is not that nice here, I think, for the um, J3 Emerge. Now, it'll be fine for social media sharing. Nobody's zooming in really on those. But when you go ahead to take a picture and you want to blow this up and uh, put it on your wallpaper for your big screen laptop or something, it's not going to look as great as you would like here. Um, it's still going to be good, though. I, I'm not sitting here saying it's going to be crap. But if you're anybody who has an eye for detail, you're going to notice that mm, not enough detail for moi aka me <laughs> but you could see full hd on the recording which is nice i believe the j3 from 2016 only had 720p recording so full hd is welcome here um video size over here on the front camera you could shoot in at 720p on the front not too shabby for the front camera um only two megapixels on the front and you could only shoot in at 1.4 megapixels on a wide angle shot for the front camera not too good so this is not going to be a content creation machine do not rely on this device to, to make your YouTube videos, to make um, more than just messing around kind of videos. This is not going to cut it here. And it does have a little option that tells you how to take pictures, a timer, location tags. And once you get into the actual camera itself, it's pretty basic bare bones. You have some filters there. Going to the left, you have the pro mode. You have panorama, continuous shot, sports, and sound shots. So let's go into the pro mode and see. You can mess with white balance here, ISO, exposure ratings, which is nice to have this here on a you know very um, small device. Now, you have the center-weighted matrix metering for getting your faces and subjects right on point. So that'll work just good there. And the actual picture speed, not too shabby. It's not amazing, but it'll get the job done. Let's see if we got burst mode, though, here. So you can hold down. I don't see any continuous shot. Uh, we Actually, I think we have to turn that on. So for burst mode, burst mode, you have to turn on continuous shot there. So there you go. So you got to turn on continuous shot there for the fast picture taking here. It's not just like the iPhone where you just press one time and it just goes right on through. So yeah, that's pretty much the camera and video section of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. Um, I'm gonna do a camera review on this guy, depending on what you guys, if you guys wanna see it. So drop that down below in the comments section, um, showing picture, just picture samples and video samples. But I did take a few, so check these out right here. Okay guys, so let's talk about the portability and the pocketability of this device. So ergonomically, very easy to palm this phone. You can see how it just wraps. Now I brought my Galaxy Note 5 in to show you the difference here. So the Note 5 has a squarish design here, but it does have curved back there. Now premium device, budget device, but you can see very thin phone, a little bit thicker than the Note here. But overall, we're going to do a comparison of these two in a speed test. but. You can see the sharp sides on the note. So when I'm talking about ergonomics, I'm talking about how a device just wraps into the palm there. So you can see it doesn't stab your palm down there like something like this sharper device from the sides will stab your palm a little bit. You see how it's just digging in there where over here it just kind of wraps into the device here. Now, this is a 5.7 inch display and this is a 5 inch display. And you can see almost the same size. We're talking about a couple inches here on the top. So this is not a small phone. So if we're talking about portability, if you're a woman or if you're a dude or a younger guy with smaller hands, not like me with these big old basketball donkey hands over here, you're gonna um, this phone's going to feel a little bit small here or big here for you. Now, if you have decent sized hands like me, rah, you, you'll be able to go ahead and be just fine here with this device. And I think that's why Samsung included that one-handed feature here. So pocketability, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It depends on who you are overall. And um, this is gonna be a purse phone for most ladies. And for guys, this is gonna be a pocketable phone for most dudes. But that's just my personal experience, my personal opinion, my personal assessment. Usually, the women I've known have had smaller hands than dudes, but that's not always true. So let me know how big or small you think this phone is down below. Let's talk about the storage on the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So when we talk about storage here for the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge, if I go into device maintenance, you can see battery storage in RAM. So... This device gave me about 10 gigs on the, you can see system user data, 10 gigs. So it gave me about 10 gigs um, out of the box 
with before I put my applications on it. Right now I got about 5.4 gigs available. So that was pretty acceptable. You can expand this baby up to 256 gigs on the micro SD card expansion. So unless you're, you know, using, you're an app hoarder and you're using thousands of apps and you just got to have a million and one applications on your phone, I think 16 gigs here is enough due to the fact that most of your you know, storage is gonna be taken up on that SD card, which is very useful and functional, and hence why Samsung brought it back here on the S7 of 2017, or 16. So yeah, storage in my book for this phone is a win due to the shrinking down software here on the J3 Emerge, which gave you plenty of, how would you say, storage capacity for applications. Now, I have not tried to move applications on, on the to the SD card on this device, I'm um, not sure if you can do that. Anybody has done that, comment that down below. I did not get around to testing that out, but let me know down below. But anyway, storage in my book is a win here because of that micro SD card expansion. Now, let's talk about battery life, my experiences with battery life on this device. Okay guys, so when we're talking about battery life, the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge did very well in terms of the battery life department. I was extremely impressed with the juice that I got out of this guy for a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It got me about five hours on screen time and going down here to device management if we go into battery here you can see we have three different power saving modules we talked about a little bit we touched up on a little bit earlier in this video and we were talking about the you know notification tray up there to the quick access to these but you can go ahead and put on mid and you can see you can apply it to get five hours more or max which is like the the ultra power saving mode i guess this is the new the new way they're calling it the max mode 61 hours min, um, more battery life blah 61 hours more battery life here for the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge here. So battery life is definitely a win here in terms of my opinion. And you have the ability to just swap the battery out if it's that big of a deal. So, I mean, battery life is a go here for the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. And we've been recording this video for about 40 minutes. Screen has not shut off and it only dropped 5%. Standby time, I left this device on standby for about five days. It was still on. So, I mean... What am I is there to say about battery life? I don't think I got to say much more. If you're buying this phone and you're worried about battery life, put those worries to rest. Battery life is strong here for the Samsung Galaxy J3, at least in my experience. If you have a different experience, like I say, these are just my opinions, my experience. It doesn't mean that it's the same experience for you. Drop those down below in the comments section. Let's talk about my personal negatives, my personal positives, and my conclusions. So this is where I really start ranting and giving you my own take on it and my opinions. Let's get into that now. Personal negatives negatives first. So I always like to begin with the personal negatives first. And the reason I like to talk about the negatives first is because I generally like to think positive. I do not like negativity. So I like to get these out of the way first because we got to be real here. And then we'll give you the positives, which are, you know, plentiful as well. Um, I think there's just as many negatives on this phone though as positives. So the personal negatives. So my first negative of this device is plastic. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, this device is under 100 bucks. Most devices under 100 bucks are plastic. However, there are budget manufacturers, <coughs> cough, cough, blue, that are bringing out devices that do have a premium build at a very affordable price. Blue like us or, you know, bold like us, if you've checked them out, they got some pretty nice devices right around the 150 mark with metal. I'm talking about like the X2, the blue fly, the blue, bleh, the blue life one X2. Check that one out has some premium build here. Now you are paying for the brand here. So, you know, you got Samsung, so you are gonna get, how would you say, um, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more just cause of the name here. And um, so yeah, my personal negative number one is the, you know, plastic build. Personal negative number two is the screen. The screen, no AMOLED, we go from AMOLED last year to no AMOLED here on the J3 Emerge. Um, not acceptable Samsung to try to upgrade a product and decrease the most important aspect of the product to most, which is what they're going to be looking at all day, which is the screen. And my number three uh, personal negative, and one of the reasons why I would not use this phone because I make YouTube videos, I'm very into photography, is these cameras. They are garbage. They are not very good. Um, I would say garbage in terms of my perspective from someone who you know wants quality in their camera i mean i'm shooting this on an 800 dollars camera so um 
and I use a Note 5. So when you come from a $800 smartphone and you look at something like this, you say garbage. But now, if you're looking at a camera in terms of the perspective of you know cheaper phones, I think this camera is pretty solid, but we'll talk about that more in the positive sections. But if you're looking for great cameras, no, that's a negative for me. Now, another negative for me is going to be the fact that this these buttons down here don't light up. Most Samsung has done that in the past. The buttons on the bottom have lit up, and I kind of like when those buttons light up because when it's night, I can't see those buttons. I mean, your memory, your brain will remember where they're at after a while. You just train yourself to know exactly where they're at, but it's still a negative for me. And other than that, that's pretty much all the negatives that I have here on this device. Um, price, I think it's a little pricey, honestly, for what you get here. I would, I think they should sell this phone for about 50 bucks, honestly, but that's just, that's just getting a little bit too, uh, complaining there. So let's now, let's talk about positives now. My personal positives of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge. So taking a quick second to talk about the positives of the Galaxy J3 Emerge. Number one, let's begin with design. This thing is unique. It just looks good, especially from the back. Now, some people say, I don't like that strip at the top, so freaking ugly. Well, that's your opinion, and we all have our own opinions, and nobody is stopping you from thinking whatever you want. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. You can think whatever the hell you want to think, but personally, I think this design is unique, and it's pretty sexy, to be honest. It looks very, very modern. When you pop this thing off, it feels modular because only the bottom half comes off here, so it feels high-tech high techy looking you feel modern with this phone you don't feel outdated you don't feel like you're using a dinosaur iphone 4 or anything like that now up at the top it's nice and curvy that's another positive i like the ergonomics of the device and i'm pretty sure that you guys picked up on that if you watched the whole review and you're here thank you very much for doing just that i'm trying to give you the most detailed i can here but in terms of the you know curvature here very ergonomic and this device just ah it just feels good you just want to hold it and not put it down like that's how good this device feels in the hand it's just very ergonomic and damn i'm just fucking giving it to this ergonomic section right now but let's talk about another positive so another positive i thought was the you know the home button very clicky home button here it's got that reassuring sense of quality here from samsung um like you can hear it do you hear that like it just got a nice, it's got a nice click to it, and it's just always satisfying to press that button. Um, number four on my positives is going to be the value. I feel like this is a great value smartphone. I feel like you get very similar to what you get on a flagship device in terms of the way the software feels, not not in the way it performs, but the way it feels. It's a cheaper phone that gives you a very S7 like feel in the hand, very S7 like software experience. Maybe slower, maybe worse cameras, but if you're on a budget and you really enjoy what Samsung has done with the S7, but it's just not in your price range at the current moment, you're still saving up for it, you're still in the process of manifesting it, this baby right here is gonna feel pretty good for the time being to work with what you got where you are in your life. Now, another personal positive here is going to be for me the um let me see what else is another the micro sd expansion so the micro sd expansion on here was very good 256 gigs i mean who's going to use 256 gigs on micro sd like maybe you will but that's a quite a bit that's like a whole desktop laptop computer and this is a smartphone with ma smaller file sizes so that's pretty cool there and another positive is the battery life the battery life was great here and finally my last positive is going to be the overall you know the software i really enjoyed the modern ux here of grace it just looks clean it looks better to me than ios honestly this software is clean modern and i like that samsung is you know they're not straying too far from what has been successful, but they're definitely touching up on what has been successful in the past and making it even better for their customers. And I can appreciate that here for the Samsung Galaxy J3. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up my positives. Now, who is this device for? Let's get into the conclusions and who this is for right now and wrap this baby up. All right, guys, so welcome to the conclusions of this video. I want to thank you all who made it this far, first of all. I really appreciate your time watching this. The reason I make these long videos is because I want to give you guys the most in-depth, in-detailed understanding of this device so you do not have to do research. It could take you easily 40 minutes to sift through uh, GSM Arena, Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, Walmart.com, all these websites, eBay, blah, blah, blah. One hour has passed. You're still thinking about the J3 Emerge where you can get all the information you need to know and make your decision right here, right now 
in this video and that is my goal and intentions in recording these long videos now a lot of people say who's gonna watch this long video blah blah blee blue blah blah well this video ain't for you this is for the people that are serious about purchases and um anyway with that being said like i say i appreciate your time um who this device is for is anyone who is looking to gift a device they don't want to buy a samsung galaxy s7 it's a little bit out of their price range but they don't want to upset the person they're getting a gift with they don't want to make them feel like they got them crap i think this would be a nice product gift for that person this is also for a person who wants something you know modern but they're not a big phone person they don't use their smartphone like that a lot so i'm thinking about maybe parents or cousin younger cousins or you know younger you know children and stuff they'll enjoy this device and i'm not being biased and saying this is not for um regular folks like maybe you and you just don't want to buy a premium samsung device here so this device will be great for someone who just doesn't want a premium phone they do not care they don't use a premium phone like that their pc is their monster their ipad is their monster their tablet is their monster device and they just need something to make calls and they don't want to feel like they're on some old crap garbage phone. This will be a great phone for you and it won't break your bank. And uh, that's pretty much all the people I could think of. Also, maybe the collector, the phone collector, who just likes to have all the phones and just play with Android and the new operating systems. You want to test out Grace and you don't want to drop 800 bucks on a Samsung with uh, Super AMOLED display and you know amazing cameras because you just want to test out the new software Grace has to offer. This could be great for you here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I could think of in terms of the people who this is for. Um, and that pretty much wraps up this full in-depth review. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Also, share this video if you can. We're trying to grow this baby over here at this channel and help as most people out in the world that we can. This was Nick here helping you master your technology. Be sure to have a great day. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode. Leave your feedback, comments, questions down below. And peace. And now you've got yourself something funky. Oh, my God.